You can write working Flutter code or you can write professional Flutter code. Fast, smooth and built for scale. These aren't beginner fixes like use const or don't use set state. These are real world pro techniques that keep your app fast, your UI smooth and your code maintainable. Let's make you a Flutter Pro. Number one, offload heavy work to an isolate. Pursing large JSON files or running computations on the main thread blocks the UI. Pros never do that. They push the work to a background isolate using compute function or isolate.run method. Your UI should never wait for data parsing. Number two, optimize long lists. When your list stutters, the problem isn't Flutter, it's layout. If every child recalculates size, your school will lag. Use item extent or prototype extent to help Flutter escape layout passes. Number three, control repaints with repaint boundaries. Some widgets repaint far more than they should. Flutter's repaint tracker can show that. Wrap heavy widgets like SVGs, charts, or videos in a repaint boundary so they redraw only themselves. Number four, decode images at target size. Large images are memory bombs. Flutter decodes them full size by default, even if they render small. Use cache width and cache height to decode only what's needed. Number five, pre-cache SVGs and prevent repairing. SVGs are sharp, but CPU heavy. Flutter reperses them every time unless you pre-cache the picture once. Cache it in any state and wrap it in a boundary for smooth reuse. Number six, fine grain rebuild. Stop rebuilding entire screens for tiny updates. Use Selector, Value Listenable Builder, or Riverpod Select to rebuild only what changed. It's the easiest way to unlock scalable frame times. Number 7. Avoid Intrinsic and Deep Flex Trees. Intrinsic height and intrinsic width look harmless, but they cause two layout passes every frame. Replace them with constraint layouts like size box or align. Number 8. Animate without rebuilding everything. Rebuilding the whole widget tree just to animate is wasteful. Use Animate Builder to update only what changes. The rest of your UI stays untouched. Number 9. Debounce high frequency events. Search fields or sensor streams can trigger hundreds of updates per second. Search fields or sensor streams can trigger hundreds of updates per second. Don't let each one rebuild or fetch data. Debounce it. Delay actions until input stops changing. Number 10. Keep tabs alive. Switching tabs shouldn't destroy your content. Preserve screw position and data with automatic keep alive client mixin and page storage key. Your users will notice how seamless it feels. And a bonus. Measure. Don't guess. Before optimizing, always measure. Run in profile mode. Check the GPU and raster threads and track rebuild counts. Flutter DevTools shows exactly where your bottlenecks are. Fix those, not the imaginary ones. And yes, Astro Devs, these 10 tips are how real Flutter pros write smooth, scalable apps. Profile, optimize, then ship confidently. Subscribe to our channel if you want to watch the next video and make sure to activate our notifications so you will get notified when our next video drops. And also make sure to follow us on our every social platform which you can find the related links in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.